roast beef, smoked pastrami, or Thanksgiving dinner piled high on an Italian roll. These sandwich shops dish up dreams come true between two slices of rye. So who's doing it best? Grab a number and dig into these primo provisions. Since launching in 1976 in Wilmington, Delaware, Capriati's Sandwich Shop has been busy serving sandwiches made from high-quality ingredients. The shop is named after Philip Capriati, who cultivated his family's passion for home-style Italian eats. These days, Capriati's is a full-fledged chain with over 175 U.S. locations. Much of the company's success is due to its well-established relationships with product suppliers. The Butterball brand raises a special species of turkey, the Capriati's Super Tom, exclusively for the chain. The meat is then slow-roasted overnight and pulled apart by hand. It's also the key ingredient in Capriati's award-winning sandwich, the Bobby. Hand-pulled turkey, fresh cranberry sauce, stuffing, it's like Thanksgiving on a roll. In 2020, Capriati's added American Wagyu beef to its menu through a collaboration with Snake River Farms, which has produced American Wagyu beef since the late 80s. These cattle are raised on an all-vegetarian diet, free of growth hormones, MSG, and artificial ingredients. The slogan over at pret manger is doing the right thing, and this international chain appears to be staying true to its word. Best known for its many New York City locations, the company got its start in London, England in 1986, and it's been particularly transparent about its efforts to serve high-quality deli meats. pret manger US has detailed a journey towards sustainability and clean sourcing by showing its environment, social, and governance report on its website. The deli meat featured on the pret manger US menu are ham, bacon, and chicken all of which come from Nyman Ranch. The farmers and ranchers participating with Nyman Ranch raise livestock according to the highest animal welfare standards. In 2017, pret a manger signed on to the Better Chicken Commitment to agree to industry-leading standards regarding the production of chicken meat. The company promises that by 2026, all of its chicken products will be Global Animal Partnership certified. Serving delicious, sustainably sourced food has been the goal of Mendocino Farms since it opened in Los Angeles in 2005. Back then, farm-to-table cuisine wasn't the bankable concept that it is today, but for the family-run company, nothing less would do. The brand dishes up exceptional quality deli meat, but where the eatery really hits a home run is in its unique, chef-driven sandwich options. Mendocino Farms was an 11-unit chain in 2015 when Whole Foods took notice and invested in the brand. Mendocino Farms then began operating out of Whole Foods in California in 2016, while also continuing to launch individual locations. Sustainable local farms are the backbone of Mendocino Farms' meat supply, where all animals are raised humanely and fed a vegetarian diet that's free of artificial colors, flavors, or hormones. These days, the chain boasts more than 60 locations throughout California, Texas, and Washington State. The sandwich list rotates throughout the year in order to showcase the best ingredients that each season has to offer. But beloved customer favorite sandwiches like prosciutto and chicken and the Farm Club are permanent fixtures on the menu. One of the reasons Jersey Mike's dominates the chain industry is because it churns out consistent quality across the board. The brand manages to keep its nearly 3,000 locations stocked in high-quality deli meats, slicing the product to order as standard practice. Watching that takes me to my happy place. Oh, wait. Jersey Mike's is my happy place. Jersey Mike's original Jersey Shore location opened in 1956 under the name Mike Subs. Freshly sliced meat, bread baked in-house, and customizable sandwich ingredients helped Mike's gain a steady following, which led to the shop's expansion. Jersey Mike's became a franchise in 1987, but every location serves private label deli meats made especially for the chain. You'll find USDA choice roast beef and lean antibiotic-free turkey. There's also good news for the ham, prosciutto, capicola, and bacon lovers out there. In 2019, Jersey Mike's teamed up with Clemens Food Group to make the company-wide switch to no antibiotics ever pork products. Clemens pigs are fed an all-vegetarian diet and are never given hormones, growth stimulants, or steroids. At Top Round, sandwiches made from scratch are a way of life. Established in Los Angeles in 2013, the company began as a passion project for four restaurant chefs looking to start something of their own. But Top Round isn't your typical deli, Instead, it's more of a retro-inspired sandwich and burger joint. 
But that doesn't mean that the roast beef is anything less than top-notch. Since its debut, Top Round has grown into a small chain with locations in LA, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and Las Vegas. Top Round stuff its roast beef sandwiches with 100% all-natural beef, free of fillers, artificial additives, and preservatives. Featuring a 10-spice rub, marinade, and 10-hour-long slow roast, it's an elevated riff on a time-honored sandwich. The meat is always sliced to order and topped with a light gravy just before being sandwiched between a buttery toasted bun. Top Round may be slower to grow its franchises, but each shop is just as consistent as the next. Before it became a well-known sandwich chain, Jimmy John's launched in 1983 as a late-night sub shop in the college town of Charleston, Illinois. Today, the brand boasts more than 2,600 locations across 45 states. When you think of high-quality deli meat, you might not immediately think of Jimmy John's. But even so, the company takes meat sustainability more seriously than you might expect. Oh look, I'm Jimmy John's and I have high-quality, reasonably priced sandwiches. Initially, the use of high-quality deli meat was motivated by founder and former CEO Jimmy John Leotode's community-oriented nature. He made local farmers and vendors part of the chain's business strategy, which boosted the local economy but also provided customers with better-tasting ingredients. Leotode sold the majority of his stake in Jimmy John's to Rort Capital in 2016. Under new direction, sustainable sourcing became the key focus. Jimmy John's oversees the largest third-party remote video auditing system in the meat industry to make sure its animals are raised ethically. Other than a little artificial caramel color in the roast beef, Jimmy John's hand-sliced meats are all natural and minimally processed. Philly hoagie shops are a dime a dozen, but Primo Hoagies is in a class of its own. The chain opened in 1992 in South Philadelphia, and just 10 years later became a franchise with over 120 locations. The chain exclusively features Thuman's Gourmet Meats and Cheeses. The specialty wholesaler is a fourth-generation, family-owned business out of New Jersey that has been in operation since 1949. All of Thuman's deli meats are produced from family recipes and use zero byproducts, fillers, gluten, MSG, or chemically engineered ingredients. In 2023, Primo Hoagies was voted the best sandwich or sub shop in the US Today 10 Best Reader's Choice Awards. It's a well-deserved badge of honor for the sandwich chain, which is rapidly expanding across the US. Don't have a Primo Hoagies near you? You might get one very soon. With nearly 2,200 locations throughout the U.S. and Canada, Panera Bread is one of the top sandwich chains in the business. The company's rise to prominence was born out of the public demand for tasty sandwich options without all the processed ingredients associated with fast food. Panera was even one of the first sandwich chains to serve antibiotic-free chicken. Since 2016, Panera has participated in the Better Chicken Commitment, an industry initiative that aims to serve only high-quality breeds of broiler chicken that are raised ethically. Plus, rather than enriching turkey deli meats with chemical preservatives, Panera worked with a supplier that uses water, potato starch, and sea salt to preserve the meat naturally. What makes a really good, solid sandwich? Even so, a menu overhaul in 2024 has invited suspicion that Panera's clean food supply chain could be changing. In an internal memo published by Nation's Restaurant News, Panera Bread exec stated, This policy update allows for judicious use of antibiotics in our pork and turkey products and provides more flexibility in our feeding standards for chicken and beef, allowing us to consider additional resources of supply and more effective pricing. When it comes to a chain known for its vegan deli meat, skeptics might be critical of what's going on at Ben & Esther's. But even meatless deli offerings require top quality care and processing. Ben & Esther's Vegan Jewish Deli opened in Portland, Oregon in late 2019. And despite pandemic-era woes, the eatery managed to open a second location in San Diego. A third outpost in Seattle never found its footing and was shuttered in December 2023. But setbacks aside, Ben and Esther's represent something truly unique in the fast casual sandwich market, and its quality deli meats deserve a second look. One of the chain's signature items is the Reuben. The vegan version of this iconic sandwich swaps the traditional corned beef for seasoned tempeh. Supported by flavorful marbled rye, sauerkraut, and Russian dressing, 
Ben and Esther's pulls off an homage to a Jewish classic. Elsewhere on the menu, you'll find quintessential New York-style Jewish deli favorites, hoping to satisfy even the most homesick New Yorker. Egg and cream cheese sandwiches, a tuna melt, and even their version of a turkey bacon club make appearances, all of which are expertly crafted with soy products. Unlike some of the more established sandwich chains on our list, Homegrown got its start in an era where environmental sustainability is the brand mission in itself. Homegrown started in Seattle in 2009 and has since expanded into a regional chain with 10 locations in the Pacific Northwest. It was founded by childhood friends with the goal of creating a green business showcasing farm-to-table ingredients. We knew we wanted to join the slow food movement so that we could change the way people eat and live their lives. Homegrown makes it a habit to tap the local agricultural market. The brand's deli meats come from trusted ranchers who raise their animals on all vegetarian diets with nary a nitrate, antibiotic, or hormone in sight. It's all part of the company's goal to keep its food as natural as possible, an endeavor that founders referred to as sandwich environmentalism. The idea is that sustainably sourced meat and produce benefits not only the people who eat there, but the animals and the farmland as well. Some of the brand's meat suppliers include include Painted Hills Natural Beef in Oregon and Hempler's in Washington. Both suppliers work with family-owned ranches and farms to produce high-quality, small-batch meats for the perfect homegrown sandwich. By the time Witch Witch burst on the scene in Dallas, Texas in 2003, customizable subs were all the rage at sandwich shops. But instead of choosing your ingredients straight from the assembly line like most chains, which Witch prompts customers to check off the ingredients they want from a list, write their name on a brown paper bag, and bring it to the cashier's counter. The quirky concept was a hit, and in just two years, Which Witch became a franchise. It now has over 220 U.S. locations, with a handful of outposts in the Middle East and the U.K. As the chain expands, Which Witch continues to uphold its commitment to serving top-quality deli meat. Which Witch and its meat suppliers advocate for the humane treatment of animals. The brand strives to meet the animal welfare guidelines set by the World Organization for Animal Health, the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, and the Farm Animal Welfare Council. The chain's chicken suppliers are audited by third-party organizations to ensure that its birds are handled in accordance with the National Chicken Council Welfare Guidelines for Broilers. This pastrami-slinging deli in New York City has history and expertise on its side. Originally known as Pastrami King, the company's roots lie in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. A location change in 1961 to Kew Gardens, Queens, and a subsequent relocation to the Upper East Side in 1998 inspired the name change. After three busy locations rocked Manhattan, the chain finally returned to Brooklyn. Pastrami Queen keeps its recipe under wraps, but allows a little insight into its process. The hand-cut pastrami is brined and seasoned before being dried and smoked. The meticulous preparation results in meat that's juicy and crumbly all at once, and packed with hearty flavor. And don't forget the spicy mustard that really gives it that kick in the butt that you really need and deserve. Consider that the late great Anthony Bourdain gave the chain his seal of approval. Telling Variety in 2017, The first thing I get when I'm back in New York is a pastrami sandwich. Pastrami Queen is a really good pastrami sandwich, if not the best, among the very best. Just a good, nice mix of fat and lean. It's the real deal, served warm on fresh, soft rye bread with the right kind of mustard. When you want that on-point deli meat experience, you've got to hit up the best place in town.